guys, Victoria here and welcome to the Geeky Sandbox. Today we're going to jump straight into my top 5 moments of American Horror Story Apocalypse Season 8, Episode 6. As usual guys, be sure to watch out for spoilers. This top 5 moments video will contain spoilers from Episode 6 of American Horror Story Apocalypse. Number 5. Madison and Behold buy the murder house in order to talk to the ghosts there to find out exactly what happened and who exactly is Michael Langdon. And in order for them to even buy the house, they go as far as to pretend to be a married couple who who were both looking to have children and things like that. And I just love the dynamic between Madison and Behold in all of their scenes this entire episode. This was a uh, dynamic duo that I didn't expect to really enjoy together. Uh, Behold's sass the entire episode was hilarious and Madison's reactions were great as well. Number four, Constance is back. Jessica Lange has reprised her role as Constance for one episode, of course, and it was just so amazing to see her back on the screen. I really missed her. I know a lot of the other American Horror Story fans missed her as well. We learned that she actually took her own life once she realized what Michael was becoming. He was killing rodents, then he killed his babysitter, as we saw at the end of season one. And then, um, as he got older, he randomly killed a priest and was just sitting on his bed playing video games as if it were nothing. For Constance to be a crazy villain, they really did pull the heartstrings to make us as an audience kind of feel bad for her that she had to take care of this demon and that she kept having these kind of like awful children. And if they weren't awful, something terrible or tragic would happen to them. And just a sidebar, apparently Michael aged a decade overnight, which was interesting. Not only did it freak Constance out, but it freaked me out because I'm just like, whoa, okay, that's a huge jump. But Constance explained it as it was as if he was being rushed along or quickly aged to prepare for something. And you know, that was kind of bizarre, but it gave us an idea of where exactly everything falls in the American Horror Story timeline. Meaning it hadn't been too long before a coven when a lot of the events in Murder House actually happened. Number three, Dr. Harmon attempts to bond with Michael and ultimately cuts him off. So Madison and Behold, they're kind of like going around finding all these girls. They see Tate, which was amazing. By the way, Evan Peters is, I don't know if that was his hair dye blonde or if it was a wig, but either way, it looked weird to kind of see him with that hair color again. But I do miss the character Tate. So it was nice of them to kind of like pull all those characters back in. But Madison and Behold get Dr. Harmon to kind of tell them about Michael and so he explains that even though Michael isn't really his son he felt as if he was so he teaches Michael the basics of growing up how to do a Rubik's Cube how to play catch um, about the birds and the bees just kind of taught him about everything and ultimately it backfires because Michael goes on a killing spree and then Dr. Harmon just has to cut him out of his life because it's just insane it was good to see Dylan reprise the role as Ben, and it was nice to see them kind of poke fun at some of the weird stuff Ben did in season one. So I really like that they were able to just kind of dab a little bit of humor in there in a place where I didn't expect it actually. Number two, Michael is now completely comfortable with his powers. So the anti-priest of the Church of Satan fakes his own death and brings along his group of followers in order to help Michael gain control of his powers. They kind of see the signs, they see the black star in the west with the like red sky and the crows or whatever it was that they were explaining to him. And so that's how they were able to find him. And this is beautifully explained by Vivian Harmon and it was great to see Connie back as well. However, it wasn't great to see Michael eat some innocent girl's heart. Um, the group of followers and the woman that um, the android Kathy Bates Miss Mead is modeled after this is where we first get to see where she meets Michael and how she kind of like takes him under her wing she picks up some random girl off the road um, who you know uh, hitches a ride because it's raining which, number one kids never hitchhike with strangers this is one of the number one reasons why they may not be devil worshippers but they might do something kind of odd to you which ultimately ended up uh, happening to this girl here so Michael eats her heart and then he just kind of has this instant connection with his father Satan number one Madison and behold learn the true nature of Michael and that he is the Antichrist the son of Satan and they plan to tell Cordelia okay so after hearing all of this stuff Madison is really freaking out and she's telling behold like you know you you can't stop me I'm telling Cordelia this I have a third chance really at life and I can't let this be taken away by some like demon child and you know I really like the um 
the uh, scene here between these two because behold it's kind of like look I would have never vouched for him to you know become the supreme if I had known what his true intentions were and who he really is and so they kind of like vouch to kind of team up together and they're like okay we really need to figure out a way to stop him so this is kind of like the like the call to action really was whenever Vivian's telling them what happened but this one this moment is really that moment of like okay what are we gonna do can I trust you and just a sidebar, it was nice to see Violet and Tate make up and get their happily ever after. Very, very, very cute moment. And overall, a great episode. Um, I honestly never know how I feel about filler episodes. I use The Walking Dead as an example. Sometimes filler episodes can really break a show or at least break um, a couple of episodes. Make or break, really. Um, and... Um, but, you know, I don't mind these. I feel like they these are well written. These are things that still keep us entertained while also keeping us informed. And, you know, I'm not sure if it's the nostalgia or something else, but I'm honestly loving this. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like rating down below and drop me a comment. Do you think Michael already knows that Madison and Behold went to the murder house? Do you think he had them followed? I don't know. Drop your theories down.